Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is camel milk. So yep, yeah, today's Weird Stuff in a Can is camel milk. Camelicious, it says. Hmm. I picked this up in the international food market in Portswood, Southampton. And this is a can. Well, it's a, it's a carton, but it's a can-shaped carton of Long Life Whole Camel's Milk. Let's have a look and see what we've got on the pack. So, ultra heat treated, reconstituted, homogenized whole camel milk. Made from 100% camel milk, preservative free, ingredient whole camel milk, reconstituted, stab <laughs> stabilizer, emulsifier, acidity regulator. So, I don't know how you get 100% camel milk when you have other things in there, but never mind, that seems to be the way ingredients work. What else can we find on here? Produced and packed in Austria by, and then that's all the same same in different languages, by uh, Enstal Milk KG. Yeah. Made from milk powder produced in UAE. Camelicious.oe. Well, we'll have a look at that website and see if that exists. What else have we got on here? That's about it, I think. Ingredients in various different languages. Oh no, storage instructions. Store below 25C, away from sunlight. Shake well before opening. Once open, keep refrigerated and consume within three days. Best before end, see bottom of pack. So best before end is the 29th of June, 2019. So well in date. So it says give it a good shake. Shake well before opening. And I've got a glass here. So yeah, it's a cardboard sort of tetra type carton carto can it's called so i do feel justified in calling this weird stuff in a can now we should just say weird stuff in a can this is weird because it's foreign and because it's completely alien to me i imagine there are places in the world where drinking camel milk is not weird but that isn't here so that's why this is to me weird stuff in a can so there we go let's open it up and we've got a can of quite foamy looking milk. It looks quite creamy and it looks kind of thick actually. So there we go. Slightly more yellow I think than cow's milk, possibly. Let's have a little sniff. It smells really, really neutral. Can't smell anything there that's unpleasant or in fact can't smell really anything at all. It just smells completely neutral. Same can be said of the can. It just smells very faintly, sort of creamy, dairy smell. So, well, here we go then. Let's have a little taste of camel's milk. Oh, interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, it's very creamy. It's got a kind of astringency to it and it tastes kind of kind of like grass or yeah sort of grassy strawy sort of flavor to it that's interesting you can see how creamy this is by the way it's coating the side of the glass let's have another taste Well, well, it's not unpleasant, but it's just very strange. It's got a very odd, nutty, grassy, vegetable sort of aroma to it. And a slight astringency, slight bitterness on the palate. So yeah, very, very buttery and creamy. But compared to something like goat's milk, which can often be very well, goatee. Camel's milk doesn't seem to be very camely. Unless indeed that's what camels smell or taste like, I suppose. Hmm, interesting. Well, there we go, that's camel's milk. And yeah, I would say if you get the chance to try this, then go ahead and try it because it's not unpleasant. It's just a new experience. I mean, after all, we should just recognize that there is nothing objectively weirder about drinking milk from camels than there is about drinking milk from cows. 
And I think I agree, that is camelicious. I'm not sure I'd call it delicious, but it is camelicious. And it does taste different to regular milk. So that's weird stuff in a can. Long life whole camel milk on atomic shrimp. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.